25 million dollars from the state will be split among almost 200 school districts to help hire resource officers. News Ace David Horak takes a look at the impact that money will have. We were absolutely thrilled and looking forward to the opportunity for this officer to serve in our community. The announcement from the governor's office was welcome news to Superintendent Jeff Tanis at Comstock Public Schools. He says the 200 grand over three years will provide some much needed staffing flexibility. We're looking at um, a split kind of position. One officer most likely serving um, in the morning at Comstock Middle School and then just down the road, uh, maybe a half to three quarters of a mile is our Comstock High School and then he'd spend the afternoon, or he or she would spend the afternoon there. Um, so we already kind of have a vision for it. Another West Michigan district receiving this funding is one that will use it to get their first school resource officer. This will allow us the initial steps of uh, providing more safety for our students. Goble Superintendent Jim Wisely says their $100,000 piece over the next three years comes as a relief. And it provides that feeling of safety, um, as an SRO builds relationships with our students and staff, um, we just build a, a, a better, safer product for our stakeholders. And Tainus agrees that the financial lifeline from Lansing will play a bigger role in helping connect the next generation to those sworn to protect and serve them. It's not just uh, really catching kids being bad at all. It's really about establishing a relationship with an officer, seeing them as a human being, connecting them at a, with a personal, at a personal level, uh, seeing uh, ways they can advise and support uh, the district and directly principals or teachers on, on issues. In our Kalamazoo studio, David Horak, News 8.